haven't really played with them because I didn't have a stand and I was having to hold them with one hand oh. and play them with the other and they're heavy. <laughs> yeah. I say that wouldn't last long. It's hey. Hey, Kenny. 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 Hey, no, no. Yeah, it's this one's empty. Hello, this is a man and a crystal. You got a crystal under your chair. I know. <laughs> Do you want me to tell me? Do you want me to reach it for you? Yeah. And there's your... Oh, Marty's a brave one over here with Venus. Of course. <laughs> And you see her in the quartz. sky? Huh? <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah, she's here. really pretty. Isn't and it? I've got rose quartz too. So oh, that's good. I'm, I'm fixed. Oh, Maybe we can all uh, share what we have. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's everybody got? I have labradorite. Labradorite? What's that all about? Yes. Um, element is wind. Uh, all chakras. Let's see. Magic. Protection. Helps rid one oneself of negative. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. It's really dark. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You got us in the dark, and our glasses are red. Uh, oh, negative patterns enhances psychic abilities. Useful for magic. Ritual and psychic Here. protection. Right. Just for reading purposes. Okay. And it really is one of my favorites. Mm. I've been Labrador. going to Labradorite for nice. many years now. Yes. So. Like Air. Mental. Mental. Boulder of rock quartz here. Mm -hmm. Rose quartz. Rose quartz, okay. Rose quartz yeah. Elements is water. Chakra is heart. Love, gentleness, links one with the great mother. Nice. Okay. What you got, Kenny? Smoky quartz. The element is the earth. Chakra. Root chakra. Special. Even mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> with the like eyes. You just send a magnifying glass. <laughs> 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 Spiritual, activation. Spiritual activation. <laughs> Grounding. Centering facilitates auric cleansing, dispels negativity. Good job. No, come on in. Dale, do you want to sit or lay down? I'd love to lie down. Okay, there you go then. Perfect. We're all kind of looking at our rocks and saying what we have. I got the calcopyrite. Can I see this one there? Like oh. a rainbow stone here. Oh, with the with all the mini. All it almost looks rainbow. like it's an oil slick. It's or right. Or yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, it says element is the earth and the wind, which I thought was cool for the digits told the earth and wind. <laughs> uh, chakras, third eye and crown. Great meditation stone, abundance, self-esteem, release energy blockages, enhances perception, combined with citrine or sunstone to manifest money. Ooh. Who got that citrine? <laughs> What's up? Don't talk to me afterwards. <laughs> yeah, let's manifest. <laughs> Did you read yours yet? Well, it's rose quartz. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, well, nice. I see. Mine was rose quartz too, so I passed. Oh, it. I see. Okay. Yeah. I'm behind the eight over here. I have amethyst, oh. um, which is the elements of the wind, oh. and uh, third eye and crown and etheric chakras, and it says it's for protection, divine connections, releasing addictions, and facilitating connection with angels and spirit guides. Ooh, nice. What is this again? Amethyst. Amethyst. Love that. Oh, 
So yeah, I have real quartz okay. as well. Okay. <laughs> I also have sm most smoky quartz. You got the smoky? Yeah. What does it say? MCC Nectarian. It's like spiritual activa activation, grounding, centering, facilitates org cleansing, and dispels negativity. Okay. And it's a root chakra, which is very low for me right now. So. There you go. I have labradorite. Did I say that? Labradorite. Labradorite. Is the labradorite. Labradorite. Okay. I don't know if that's right. Element is wind. Chakras all, <laughs> magic, protection, head helps, oh, helps rid one self of negative patterns, enhances psychic abilities, useful for magic, ritual, and psychic protection. Mm. And it's beautiful, nice. it's a dark, dark color. Mm. What is that called again? Labradorite. Labradorite. Labra, Labra, Labrador, Labradorite. I got it. Labrador. I have fluorite, and it's an element wind. It helps all chakras. It helps with clarity, improves decision making, clears energy fields. Known as a psychic vacuum cleaner. <laughs> 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 to attract it, you think? Like it's just, just gonna just suck it right to you? <laughs> or to uh, Gotcha. It has two, you know, switches. You can, you know. Yeah, right, right, right. right. It goes yeah. both ways. <laughs> um, this is selenite, and it's the third eye and ground chakra. Selenite. Um, spiritual activation releases energy blockages and. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna stand up because I'm gonna sit a lot. How many people sit all day at a desk? So, tonight, you know, we never know what we're going to do until we get here, because mm -hmm. it takes all of you to kind of yeah. get that going, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and there are little bits and pieces of things that are coming together from uh, previous sound healings that Ramina and I have done, uh, but in, in new ways, because um, we're all on the same page, working with um, our reactions to what's going on in the world today and trying to you know maintain some sense of balance and harmony within ourselves in in the light of all of tragedy oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's chaos you fill in the blanks chaos you know, it's everything yeah. there's chaos there's you know um we were just you know, going over all Hatred. these things, you know, I just have a friend who just bought a house in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Oh, oh, no. I know, yes. Oh, Did I you know. hear from her? Yes, yeah, she's fine, but she has to a new home, yeah. and um, she couldn't go back to get the dogs. And you know, I mean, it's just, she couldn't? She could not. They would not let her, you know, there was, the fire was, I mean, people were in their cars, and their cars were getting burned. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty tragic. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, um, I talked to her. She's amazingly uh, in, in, in a better frame of mind than, you know, you think uh, because she has the support of all these people that are going through the same thing and everyone is supporting everyone. This is, you know, this is the other side of the coin. When bad things happen, mm -hmm. people come together in, yeah. a, in a community way and help one another. So, you know, this is how I, I see our sound healing. <laughs> it's, it's a way to come together and, you know, help each other. Um, and it's all really about, you know, how
how we see things and our reaction to those things. And um, the um, we are gardeners of our own soul, so to speak. And how many of you garden? How many of you have plants and garden? Yeah. <laughs> you grow your own food or you grow plants or you have something growing nearby you yes. that you connect with. Um, and this time of year is the time of year where everything is kind of going underground, you know? Uh, the leaves are falling. Uh, everything's getting prepared for the winter time, for the cold months, which we don't have any much gold but um, <clears throat> other parts of the world do but it's still it doesn't matter about the weather it's it's the energy that is fostered at this time of year so it's a really beautiful time to go inward to go inside to work with yourself in here and develop a sense of inner peace and calm for yourself and one of the ways to do that is to take in all of this chaos or tragedy or whatever you want wanting to call it uh, things in your own life as if and turn it into compost because that's exactly what we do with our soil we take decayed food we take de anything decayed in all its ways that it gets decayed <laughs> and use it to grow the soil to nourish the soil and then we plant our plants and we grow our food from that. So, um, you know, once energy is created, it can never be destroyed, right? It can just be transformed. So this is the idea behind composting uh, the garden of your soul. So, and, and as my friend pointed out to me today, she's, she says, I'm surprisingly okay, given the fact that I have this community of people who are all sticking together. So it's kind of like that, you know, when you, when you have that chaos and tragedy, it's wonderful to be around people that can remind you of that and help you do that mm -hmm. and help you in that process. And how is the dog? You know, she doesn't know, you and know, that's the it's dog. the unknown at mm -hmm. this point. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. She can't go back to the house, it's you know. Rough. After 24 hours, or it's been going now for a couple of days. Yeah, I talked to her at like uh, four today, and um, she has. She hasn't been back, but she and she doesn't really know when she's going to be able to go back either. Yeah, if you, you know, I mean, it's not like this. Mm -hmm. They're going to, you know, call mm -hmm. her on the phone and say, you know, Come okay, back. but because mm -hmm. it's, you know, fifteen thousand people or something mm -hmm. that are homeless, that, you know, not able to go to their homes now. So, so, so she's. It's all the unknown, and I, I just, you know, I just had a. a so we a, need to sense the energy that we're. We do. And we let's let's hold great. that. Let's hold that yeah. in, in our hearts tonight. We're there gonna, we're gonna do some stuff so that we can standing room. we can begin to clear a little bit um, and make some room uh, for this kind of work uh, <coughs> on ourselves. And we really start with ourselves, and then you know we we take that out there for other people. So you cultivate yourself, and then you have that for the community. So um, yes, yeah, so we definitely can do that tonight. So um, when you set your intentions, and me and I were talking about this earlier, um, if you'd like to set an intention tonight, um, or intentions, uh, certainly um, feel free to include that kind of, that kind of thing, that kind of larger community idea um, of supporting people that way. Um, Can we include Standing Rock? Absolutely, we should. Can we? Yes, we can definitely rock? can do Standing Rock. Any, any, yeah, any place like that is mm -hmm. fine. Absolutely, and then I think Live Oak is another place. I saw that right. on the news. Yes. <coughs> where they're doing some uh, protesting um, around that. Santa Fe River too, down in Gainesville. Yeah, it's fun there. Evil ones. Are <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. The evil ones are afoot in many places. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the same pipeline company. <laughs> the same people. The same people. Yeah, yeah. It's the same pipeline company as, as uh, <laughs> Standing Rock. <laughs> Trying to dig under rivers to get into the Florida aquifer. What are they going to get it? There's only one. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. There's always been pretty bad news going on, you know. And uh, I'm glad Teddy's here. <clears throat> he went out the other night. Had a great time, by the way. And um, really creative time. You know, we got to meet some new people and drink some wine and that open and relax everybody up and there's a lot of good synergy happening, a lot of creative synergy. And, uh, but, you know, he asked me how I was doing when I got in his car and I was just like, oh, you know, this and that, Trump and this, and right? And <laughs> he's like, listen, man, you know, it's all about your, your perspective on it, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I shut up, you know, and I listened to what he had to say and, and, uh, you know, this is just like anything else. This is an opportunity for us. Really, what's look? We're talking about stuff. You know, we're, we're coming together here. We're talking about things. It's creating a lot of consciousness. A lot of coming together. Standing Rock is a great example of that. Uh, it's getting people to really reflect on like our own lives. You know, and how we can, how we need to kind of step things up and get stronger. And and um, so a lot of that's cr it's creating a lot of light and love as well. So I think that's that's important, and when I hear Lydia say, you know, work with that that uh, that compost, <laughs> you know, that, that emotional compost, um, that's the the funk that creates life if you work with it, you know, if you till it in and if you like let it air out and you plant seeds in it, mm -hmm. and I think that's I know that's what we have that's what we're doing that's what we have to do, so. It's really easy to get bogged down in all the negativity, right? Because when you listen to news and things like that, like I do and most of you guys probably do, they're setting a certain narrative that generally isn't like a positive perspective on it, right? And they're doing their job, you know, whatever the news is supposed to do. But I think it's important that we, like Teddy was saying, like Lydia is saying, you know, make sure that our perspective is one of, of light and love listening to these crystals, you know, like all the lessons that they're teaching us, like, you know, bringing in that psychic energy, no negative, <laughs> right, no negative anything, uh, clean, vacuum cleaning, vacuum cleaning that <laughs> up, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're, you know, this is, this, I, 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 I think that we're all here for that, right, and it's good to kind of bring that stuff up to the surface, so we can maintain that in our, in our daily life. You just keep in mind that what the civilization and planet that we're involved with right now are going through are transition mm. stages on the big way to get to something else. Mm. So if you just think about it like a snake shedding its skin, there's a lot of thrashing around. It's not always a pretty process. A lot of people can get hurt in that process, but the other side is something completely different. And everything we're seeing is something we're projecting when we're, you know, yeah. battling with it, mm -hmm. we're projecting it out there. Mm -hmm. It's something from in here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, let's just be putting all that love out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. solutions are easier to come to, you know, like, you know, we get so, what can I do, what can I do, you know, and, uh, and then, you know, you, you work with that and all of a sudden, it's like something comes out of that and it's, it's, it's effortless mm -hmm. what I can do. Mm -hmm. um, or, or you ask, what can I do? And the next thing you know, there's something in your inbox about, hey, you can do call this person, or you can write this letter, or you can do this, or you can start this little sound healing group. <laughs> you know, right. something. Do what you can do. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, there's no one right way. Um, but this is, you know, this is this is the work that we have to do. Um, there's no way around it that I know of. I mean. There's just no free ride. We have to deal with what comes up for ourselves. Um, and how we rewrite that story or retell the story is important because it's it's really not a story until we put that story on the event itself, really. You know, we can look at things just without any, you know, any kind of um, filter, and the minute you put a filter on it, that's your filter and how you see it. <coughs> um, <coughs> yeah, 
get me. What else? Is that anything else? I'd say we we all stand up. Yeah, I I, um, I love Qigong because you know when it when it just comes down to what do I do? I say, how can I connect myself in with the most balanced and harmonious energy available to me? to help me to work with my soul, to help me grow myself. And I always turn to heaven and earth. I, I, I feel that everything we, we need is there and we are part of that. The earth is our home, heaven is our home of our spirit. So we are children of heaven and earth. So this is our right to work with this energy and become conscious of how it can help us so I love Qigong in that way, and so I want to work with y'all just a little tonight and just teach you a few things, simple things that you can do um, for yourself. You know, if you're, if you get kind of stuck and you're like, ah, you know how you get, <laughs> get stuck. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it, it's all kind of fun too, you know, so we can have a good time doing it. Um, we can really raise our vibration by having fun. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do what I call shake like a tree. And so you're going to feel your feet on the ground. You just just see that root going out from the bottom of your feet down right into the mother, right through the floor, you know, just right down in. Feel yourself really grounded, supported by the mother. And as if you were a tree, just begin to shake. And if you've been watching <laughs> the weather in the last couple of days, you will have seen the trees just blowing in the wind and their leaves falling. It's just like it's just raining leaves. So just begin to shake. This is a way we help stagnant energy that gets stuck in the body and the joints to kind of let go. So we can make some sound. You know, that groan kind of sound is like the, the kidneys, and we're just like, what? Get rid of that fear. Yo, we deal with you. We're not going to get rid of you. Turn you wandering. Turn you into wisdom. <laughs> we're going to grow our wisdom from you, fear. That's what we're going to do. <sighs> Woo. Really feel it. This is opening the joints. And if you get stuck there, especially if you're sitting all day, how many of you have new problems? I do. I'm working with it. Everybody's looking at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're breathing in. <sighs> breathing out. Relaxing. A little body scan. Make sure your shoulders are loose, your wrists, your fingers, your toes. The more vigorous, the better. <sighs> It's a very yawn activity. <laughs> That's why I've been yawning. <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> okay. Let's start bringing it slow down just a little bit and to just kind of come to a little bit of stillness and just notice your body. How's it feeling? A little more aliveness there, energy moving. So this is called, this is a way we open the body up. Lots of yawning is good too, you know. Relieving the stress. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Oh my god. Oh. That's so contagious. <laughs> okay, so let's see. After we open the body, we want to clear the body. This is this is a form of vacuum cleaner like mm. activity. Mm -hmm. And we use earth energy to clear the body. So what we do, I'll demonstrate the first one and then we'll all do three. So we come down to the earth and we just take our hands and just gather the earth in our hands and just, you know, just bring that beautiful, nurturing, loving energy of the mother. We bring it up it through the body. You take your fingers and you're just like combing through your field and projecting through your fingers into the body. Just see lines of light just going straight through and just taking a hold of any stagnation or anything that no longer serves you and bring it up and you just make the sound. <laughs> It's nothing without the sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do three of these. This is, I don't know what it's called, but I just love it. <laughs> tilling the soil, you're tilling it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. It's, you know, you're, just, you're aerating that company. You yeah. are. You're definitely like stirring it up, removing the weeds. And as you're, as you're, do this consciously, as you're coming up, if you notice a spot that's a little, you know, a little, you know, still a little stuck there, just take a minute and really work with it. You're just combing it. I work with my knees this way a lot. You're going to do a nice inhalation on the way up. Deep inhalation. Do it at your own speed. Okay, when you've done three, you can for a minute and just feel the body now. See if you feel a little bit lighter perhaps. <coughs> <coughs> you just check in with how you're feeling. So now we're we're going to um, put in the organic fertilizer. <laughs> So this time we bring the energy of earth up and the energy of heaven down. So we start with earth. We're going to go down again. We're going to cultivate this earth energy, bringing it up again. This time we're going to just bring it right up the center of the body. Just go right through the center of your body, this core channel. Bring it up. And then shower it down around you. Just shower down the earth into the field. And it's going all the way around you, just not just where your hands are. Coming down, gathering some more. Inhaling it up. Exhaling it all around. energy is heavy and dense. You might be feeling it's cool when it comes up. It's, feel cooler. it's a little cooler. You'll notice that.
So now we're going to work with heaven. So reach your arms up towards heaven. This is the five-pointed star position in Qigong. And above you, I want you to see the Big Dipper. See the stars in the handle and the bowl, all seven stars. And with your left hand, I want you to just imagine that you can just grab a hold of the handle of the Big Dipper. <laughs> and the right hand, you just hold the cup. And inside the dipper, visualize a beautiful elixir of heavenly energy, of the stars, the celestial energy, the planetary energy, earth, the moon, all of these beautiful energies of heaven formulating an elixir in this bowl. And you take that and you begin to turn that bowl so that this elixir pours down into your crown. Just maybe tap the crown a couple of times, just get the crown's attention and begin to pour this beautiful elixir down into the crown. And then you can begin to use your hands to guide this down. the brain and eyes, the nose, the throat, all the organs just floods the torso and the arms. This is a much lighter high frequency energy, you feel it, a little tingly perhaps. And down into legs, just guide it on down to the earth. This is attraction between heaven and earth. This energy wants to be with the mother. And then just allow the arms to come up through the field. Now you're just bringing up and circulating this beautiful elixir in your field all the way around. this elixir, pouring it into the crown. you've done it three times, just bring your hands to your heart. We'll wait for all of you to jump, to get to this point. We'll go forward to your back.
your hands on your heart, just begin to breathe in and out through the heart, taking a nice deep breath in the heart. Inhaling, you feel this heart expanded out, out, out. Exhaling, it contracts back. In this way, all our hearts are coming into connection with one another. As you're breathing and standing, holding the energy in your heart, the energy of heaven and earth coming together, spiraling together, being attracted to one another, feeling very balanced with this energy. Just anchor the emotion of gratitude and really feel this emotion. Think of a time when you were grateful. You were touched so deeply that your heart just softened. You went very deep into this emotion of gratitude as if it were ecstasy, something very rare but beautiful. Feeling that expanding now out around you in your field. Your field touching the field of others. This vibration being shared in community. your way to your mats. We'll get ready for the sun and healing.